Hey loves, this is my Dr. Miracles Curl Care Line Review Part 2. Overall, I would give these products 3 out of 5 Afro picks, so I hope you enjoy it. So loves, for this shampoo, it was pretty much very, very low suds, but it did not leave my hair matted, it did not tangle my hair, and it kept my curls very, very defined. And surprisingly, it actually left my hair extremely moisturized. This is the first liquid shampoo that has ever done this for me, so I would repurchase it. Now the conditioner, it kind of has like a watery texture. And I prefer my conditioner stick, but at the same time, this conditioner made it very, very easy to detangle. It had a lot of slip. It wasn't as moisturizing as I would like, though. As you can see, I had to kind of apply a lot, and the smell was very, very strong from the menthol in the shampoo and then backdoor in the conditioner. But as you can see here, like, the detangling was a breeze so it's great for that but not that moisturizing now for the leave-in conditioner the leave-in conditioner also had kind of like a very very watery texture as you can tell here and when you put it on your hair it almost like dissolves into your hair so i thought that i really really needed more than what i did but I soon found out that I did not need as much as you will see when I use the cream because there's going to be a lot of product. So this also makes it very, very easy to detangle. Now we have the soft hold cream. And initially I did not like the way this product applied to my hair but when you put it on my hair and you look at my twist my twist look absolutely amazing and you do not need a lot of this product at all like a little bit goes a long way and i didn't figure that out until i had done the first section you see i applied a lot but after i did it like i literally had to drain the product out of my hair so on the next section i didn't make that same mistake but once i finish like twisting my hair you're gonna see how defined my twists were and they really really had a lot of hold now surprisingly with this cream once i applied it my hair no longer dripped which was weird and i didn't know if it was like holding in the moisture but once it was on there it was on there and the water that was in my hair did not drip out so i appreciated that because it let me know that i was holding in the moisture now the next day when i woke up you can tell that my twists are still very defined and they did not shrink that much but they took a while to dry so that whole cream it takes a little bit longer to dry so i just used that frizz control serum because it was pretty humid in houston that morning and my hair was still a little damp and i did not want it to be frizzy so even as i take down my twists you're going to notice exactly how defined my twists were. And as you can tell, like, that curl definition, it's really, really there. And my hair is not as shrunken as it usually is. So once you put that whole cream in there, it actually does hold and it leaves you with a extremely defined finished product now y'all know i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna manipulate my hair and i'm going to fluff it out but look at those curls ah amazing i probably would actually purchase this cream because it it just worked it worked pretty well so after plenty of manipulation from me you can kind of see how my hair looks that frizz was not from that product that frizz was from me and however my hair was at this point it actually stayed like that throughout the remainder of the day so i was very very satisfied with the frizz control serum and the whole cream but keep in mind that that frizz control serum has cones in them but it also has olive oil and vitamin e in it now the next that evening when i wanted to retwist my hair so as you can see no frizz not any more than what i had that morning that evening i retwisted my hair with the moisturizing cream and that one has coconut oil and vitamin e oil and it was very light and when i put it on my hair it did make my hair really really soft 
Like, even my sister said, your hair is so soft. And for the first day twist out, that was really, really fluffy. So if you're one of those people that like big hair on the first day, you know, you don't want to wait until the second, third, or fourth day, then this product, it might actually work well for you. So I can say that I did really, really like this cream because it made my hair extremely soft even my sister was telling me wow that's pretty good i didn't expect that because my hair was super soft and it was super fluffy throughout the entire week and somebody even mentioned my hair is not really protein sensitive because i use these products for the whole week and even though each of them has protein i didn't really experience any dryness so here it is. I'm just putting my bonnet on and I will be back to show you guys what it looks like in the morning. So this is day two and I have basically just went through all of the products. But now I'm going to show you exactly how my hair looked from day to day. So day two my hair was still soft. It was still very, very defined as you can see right here. And I had not put on any other products because I didn't feel like my hair needed it. It was still soft and it wasn't really humid so I didn't need any frizz control serum. So on day three I pretty much still had the same experience. Very defined curls and it was very, very soft. Like from day to day my hair didn't really seem to change it was pretty consistent which is a little bit different for me because usually my hair gets bigger and bigger throughout the days and the curl pattern slightly changes but I didn't experience that at all so these products are consistent in what they do and they are also consistent in what they say on the bottle So here's day four guys. My hair was still pretty consistent with the curl definition and the moisture. What I did start to notice is that throughout the week my hair was not as shiny as it usually is. It's shiny here but right around about day five it seems to not have as much shine. But none of the products in this line cater to just making your hair shiny so I just kind of dealt with that. I did use all of these products for from this line for seven days straight and I did not use any other products other than these so once my hair started to look dry I went on ahead and I put my hair in the puff and I wore a puff for the last two days so overall I would definitely purchase the shampoo I would purchase the soft hold cream and I would purchase the weightless moisturizing cream those were my favorite products throughout the line they worked really really well on my hair all of the products in this line do contain natural ingredients such as olive oil coconut oil or jojoba oil but they are not all natural they do have the alcohols the cones and the wheat proteins so here as you can see on day six I didn't even retwist it I just kept it in that same puff and I still have a lot of definition and on day seven I actually just wash my hair and I did not experience any dryness or any breakage so here's part two of this review click here for part one I really hope you enjoy bye don't, don't, don't.